What's new in Cisco NDFC release 12.2.1? A new unified installation experience for Nexus Dashboard and its related services, including NDFC, is now available in this release. Prior to Nexus Dashboard release 3.1.1, which is a Nexus Dashboard release that is aligned with NDFC release 12.2.1, Nexus Dashboard shipped with only the platform software and no services included. So you would have to download, install, and enable services such as NDFC separately after the initial installation, uh, the initial Nexus Dashboard platform deployment. However, beginning with ND release 3.1.1 and NDFC release 12.2.1, the platform and the individual services have been unified into a single image and can be deployed and enabled during the initial cluster configuration for a simpler, more streamlined experience. For more information on the new unified installation experience, see the Cisco Nexus Dashboard and Services Deployment and Upgrade Guide, Release 3.1x, available at the ND and NDFC documentation libraries, as well as the NDI and NDO documentation libraries. Beginning with NDFC Release 12.2.1, the navigation to some pages in the GUI have changed. For example, Topology is now accessed through the Overview menu option. Fabrics is now accessed through the Manage menu option. And Event Analytics is now accessed through the Analyze menu option. In addition, Image Management has been renamed to Fabric Software and is now accessed through the Manage menu option. For a complete list of navigation changes in the NDFC 12.2.1 GUI, see the Changes to Navigation section in the NDFC 12.2.1 release notes. A journey map is now available with this release that guides you through a standard NDFC setup. The journey map appears automatically when you first set up your NDFC but you can also access it after your initial setup by navigating to the overview window and then clicking on the journey tab. In the journey window, you can either navigate through each step in order in the journey map, or you can skip directly to the area where you want to configure. In each step of the journey map, click the tell me more link to bring up additional information about that step in the journey, or click the go link to go directly to that area in the NDFC GUI to make the necessary configurations for that step in the journey. Beginning with NDFC release 12.2.1, the image management page is now Fabric Software. To navigate to the new Fabric Software page, click Manage, then click Fabric Software. In addition, you can now perform switch upgrades or downgrades at the Fabric level but only on LAN fabrics. In the Fabric Software window, locate the fabric where you want to prepare a software image policy that will be used for that fabric, and click Prepare in the Status column. In the Prepare Fabric window, attach an existing image policy or create a new one. Enter the necessary information in the rules area to configure this new fabric level image policy, including the types of switches in the fabric that will use this new fabric level image policy, the roles for the switches in the fabric that will use this new fabric level image policy, and other fabric level image policy settings. For LAN deployments, support is available for configuring a low latency, high throughput and lossless fabric configuration that can be used for artificial intelligence and machine learning traffic. This feature allows you to easily configure a network with homogeneous interface speeds where most or all of the links run at 400 gigabyte, 100 gigabyte, or 25 gigabyte speeds, and also provides customizations to override the predominant queuing policy for a host interface. You can now import or export your non-default NDFC templates to or from your Git repository for synchronizing your NDFC non-default templates. After you have gone through your necessary preliminary procedures, such as configuring your Git IP route and proxy server using Nexus Dashboard, 
You can then import the template from a Git repository to NDFC by navigating to the templates window and then clicking on actions import from Git. Enter the necessary information in the import from Git window, then click fetch. You can also export a template from NDFC to Git by navigating to the same templates window and clicking actions export to Git. Support is also available for AAA remote authentication pass-through. With this feature enabled, NDFC maintains the LAN switch credential settings in the default credentials area. Afterwards, when you log on to NDFC for the first time, you are no longer prompted to enter the LAN switch credentials, as NDFC automatically copies the user login credentials to the LAN switch credentials. Here are a few additional features supported for LAN deployments. For SAN deployments, support is now available to monitor Zone, Fiber Channel Name Server, or FCNS, and Fabric Login, or FLOGI, limitations. Navigate to the switches area in the inventory window, then double click on the appropriate switch to bring up this, the switch overview window. Click the max values tab, then view the zone, FCNS, and FLOGI limitations information in the max values page. With the power utilization visualization feature, you can now view the power utilization for each switch and power module, as well as a graph of power usage data per day, week, or month based on the selected data type. In the Switch Overview window for a switch, click the Metrics tab and click the Power sub-tab. Click the Show Last Day drop-down menu to view the power usage per day, week, or month. With the expansion of network elements and topology feature, when you click on a switch or a zone with host or st and storage devices, you can view the interface nodes connected to that host, storage, or switch. In the topology window, navigate to a switch or zone with host or storage devices, then enable the show interfaces option to display all the interface nodes connected to the switch or the zone. Here are a few additional features supported for SAN deployments. For IPFM deployments, you can view IPFM critical events. In the Fabric Overview page for an IPFM fabric, click the Event Analytics tab, then click the IPFM Events sub tab. In the IPFM Events area, you can click on a distinguished name to view additional information about the distinguished name or to filter information by identifier, reason, time, or status. In previous releases of NDFC, you could view the IPFM flow status only at the Layer 3 boundary as a physical interface or as a switch virtual interface or SVI. So Layer 2 belonging to the SVI was not visible. Beginning with NDFC release 12.2.1, visibility in the Layer 2 segment is possible after the SVI, so you can now identify the receiver-connected Layer 2 interface. You can view the Layer 2 port and the Layer 3 SVI by clicking the Flows tab in the Fabric Overview page for the IPFM fabric, then viewing the information provided in the Receiver Interface column in the Flow Status page. If you click on the Active link, you can view the Layer 2 port in the topology diagram with an updated tooltip and a table that includes the Layer 2 port. The Internet Group Management Protocol, or IGMP, host proxy feature helps you connect a Protocol Independent Multicast, or PIM, enabled multicast network domain to a domain that does not understand PIM. This feature configures an interface as a proxy interface that proxies PIM join or prune requests that are received on the internal PIM network to IGMP join or leave requests. 
Here are a few additional features supported on IPFM deployments.